Hello and welcome, this is GG Your Face and I'll be talking about a game between Huck and Druby. Huck is playing as the blue Protoss player at the upper right hand corner and Druby is playing as the red Terran player at the lower left hand corner. The map is Steps of War, this is game number one. I think whoever wins two will move on. This is also the Intel Extreme Masters season number five, I think group A in the American season. And right now we see Huck is going to be grabbing a gateway at 10 supply a little bit early. I think he's going to want to apply some early zealot pressure on Druby. And this one probe is inside. He's going to be attacking the SCVs and he's going to try to bring them down on the HP. And as soon as he hits about zero shield, he's going to pull off, which is a very, very good move. If you're a Protoss player, you should abuse the fact that your shield regenerates relatively quickly out of combat. We can see that it's replenishing very, very quickly at the lower half of the screen. The barracks is going up at the moment. And and once that shield is replenished, Huck is going to attack Druby once again. And a refinery is going up for Druby at the moment. And this one probe is being very menacing inside the base of Druby, just circling around that barracks. I think all of the <laughs> APM is spent on that one probe. And we do see additional pylon being placed in the back of the base of ooh, Huck. And Huck actually tried to be a little bit fancy there, but he did manage to escape. You can always escape your probes from surrounding enemies by clicking them to the nearest mineral patch or a really far mineral patch, whichever one you want. And Orbital Command Center, I mean, Orbital Command is coming down. And if you take a look at the SCVs, one's in orange, two and three. Three of them are in orange, and this one probe is at almost full health at ni 19 of 20 HP. Very, very good usage. And Druby will see that there is going to be one zealot coming across the map. Another one is currently being chrono boosted, and there's going to be three probes on the gas already there's one probe on the side and a second barracks is going up and this zealot will be able to get inside the base and an additional zealot is on the way second one here so there's actually two out on the field right now a third one coming out and that one probe ooh that one probe actually managed to kill off an scv that's got to be a huge blow to the mindset of Druby as Druby has this one marine in the midst of all these scv two marines in the midst of all these scvs and let's see if Huck can get some more kills here. If we take a look at unit lost tab, you managed to kill off one SCV so far. Not too much action going on. These Marines trying desperately to defend these SCV, but a lot of these SCVs are not mining at the moment, so he's actually hurt it quite a bit, even though he did manage to take down the Zealot. Another Zealot is coming in, and I think that Zealot is trying to pick out an SCV, but he's not actually managed to get off any shots, and the Zealot will die off to the Marines. And this zealot is standing outside, not quite sure what to do. Concussive shell is being researched along with the first marauder is being produced by Druby from the tech lab. At the, at the same time, a reactor is going down for the other barracks, so both players. I think Druby survived very, very well, managing those two marines against those couple of zealots that were coming in consecutively, not together. Worked to the advantage of Druby. If we take a look at the units lost tab, we see more units lost for Huck. However, that is not telling the entire story because Huck did manage to stop the income of Druby for a quite a few seconds. So that was very, very valuable and it forces your opponent to do something that he does not normally want to do. And any extra pressure and micro you force your opponent to do might be more beneficial for you later down in the game because your opponent will be a little bit more wary and cautious. And we do see Stempak is being researched for the Marines and Marauders. We additional stalkers coming out and the Chrono Boost has been spent and there's actually one saved up at the moment. Marine Marauder moving out and this pro will be able to see it and there's one pylon to the left side of the map near one of the Zonaga Watch Towers. A scan goes off, we'll be able to see I think all three gateways from the view of Druby and Huck's gonna have to change this in the warp gates and he is doing just that and right now he only has two zealots and two stalkers and Druby not trying to decide if he wants to come up or not come up and he does come up when he finally commits he already lost the marauder he loses another marine and these units are cutting them back but I think the damage was done if he takes down this one marauder it would just be marines versus stalkers and another two stalkers show up just in time and these stalkers should be but hold off these marines no problem stalkers are quite good against marines not very well against the Marauders and these Stalkers are able to hold him off no problem he was actually microing the ones that were taking damage and he's also chrono boosting his 
gateways and he's also warping additional stalkers on the side he's gonna try and put the additional pressure but a bunker has gone up almost complete well actually almost 30 percent complete he really needs this bunker to finish but huck is probably gonna try to snipe off that scv this very important scv over here building the bunker and he does snipe the scv he might have to salvage or cancel this bunker and another scv actually comes out it's over here and ooh, he actually picks off the last stalker he's Huck is rotating the stalker so that he has the stronger ones in the front. The bunker does finally go up, and Huck would have to retreat, I think, at this point. Additional stalkers are showing up. Still three gateway, no robotics facility just yet, no detection. And inside the base of Druby, he has two barracks, one factory. He's making more marauders and more marines. Whereas Huck is going to grab the robotics facility, a lot of players do like to do the robotics facility because it not only gives the observers, but also the very powerful Colossus, but it's also easily countered by the starport that Druby is currently building. He's going to decide to push another time, try to take this bunker down. There's one SCV repairing it, but the SCV goes down. The bunker is going to go down two very, very good force fields there, preventing two of the Marines from taking any, from taking part in the fight. Some of the SCVs are coming off the line to join the fight, and this does force Huck back a little bit, but uh, there's only two SCVs mining inside the base of Druby, and Huck is trying to establish a nice frontier outside of Druby's base, and he's warping additional stalkers, and another bunker is going up, and he's going to try to push again with these zealots in the front, and he does pick off one SCV, two SCV, and... 3 SCV, 4 SCVs, he got 4 SCVs that time. I think Druby is really hurting economy right now. Another SCV does go down, and the factory is coming to block off part of the way that Huck could access the base. Wow, this is a very, very well played by Huck. And he's going to be grabbing the robotic space. He's going to skip the observer, it appears. And he has a lot of gateway units, bunch of zealots and stalkers. Very, very nice composition to deal with this marine marauders and the first medevac and the second medevac are coming out at the moment for Druby and Druby is making more SCVs because he really is hurt if we take a look at the unit count we see about 31 probes double the amount of the SCV so it's very it was very very nice of what Huck did in the harass forcing him to pull the SCV off the line and now Druby is gonna lift the factory off and float it over to the base of Huck perhaps one medevac at the same time going to be going around. I think Huck did catch a glimpse of the medevac with that pylon there, so he might suspect something is coming, and a drop is coming from Druby as he's making more medevacs and, I mean, making more marauders and marines, and he's going to drop here. It doesn't look like Huck knows, and I think he's trying to decide what he wants to do. One Colossus is on the way for Huck. All of the forces are in the front, and the factory is still floating, Whereas there's a nice group of units moving to the front. The drop is about to commence with only five marines inside the dropship. Another dropship is moving around with marauders and marines to the front. There are no units in the back for Huck at the moment. So this drop could be very, very deadly if timed correctly. He's going to harass him at the pylon here. And as a nice distraction, but he's not actually moving his units outside. And we do see a drop in the back. Huck does not know he's moving his units forward at this time. And he does... He's transferring some probes and he's getting some probe kills. I think he got three probe kills and he's actually picking up those marines. No, he's not picking up those marines. At the same time, a huge battle is happening in the front. We do see that he's able to hold the front a little bit with the help of those zealots and the Colossus, but in the back, some probes are falling and he did manage to kill a couple of the stalkers that were in the back. Very, very nice micro by these five marines. Factory is still floating overhead, and another Colossus spawns just in time. The Colossus will be able to take care of those Marines. He did manage to kill, I think, about four or five probes total that time. And now these Stalkers and Sentries are going to shoot down that factory eventually. Combat shields being researched for the Marines. The concussive shells have been complete, and this factory is going to go down. On a sign, I really hope Blizzard and the creators of StarCraft and the developers are nice to me today because I say that because I spent a lot of time troubleshooting and restarting and here we see a medevac coming into the side of the base there is a lot of probes to be killed and he does get one two three and he actually only got two kills that time but the medevac does fly off in time there's two colossus out on the field for Huck at the moment and additional stalkers are being 
warped into play. It's a very, very good idea, especially against those Medivac drops. There's only two Vikings on the field for Druby at the moment. If we take a look around, I think Druby is thinking about pushing once again. He does scan, and Huck realizes maybe he should keep some of the units in the back, perhaps. He does have a couple of Stalkers in the back, and he's making additional assimilators on these gases, grabbing two bases now. Will be very, very soon. The Medivacs are going to be healing the Marine Marauder that just recently stemmed, and the uh, Colossus are going to come, be coming out and try to take a couple shots. Some of the probes do get pulled off the line because they need to push them back, and they might be able to focus fire down one of the Colossus. The Colossus does go down, one of the Colossus goes down, and I think he should not chase them with those probes that he just lost. <laughs> Additional Colossus is being produced at the moment. Huck Chrono boosting the production of his probes. And the Marines and Marauders are being produced more and more. This one SCV just hang out here. Maybe he wants to grab an expansion. Maybe he doesn't. There's three barracks now. One star port. Double time with the Medivac's production. One Medivac coming out the south side of the base. Will be probably dropping toward the east or the north side of the base. If he can get in, oh, he's just going to come in right from the north. And he's going to drop off a couple of marines. At the same time, he's moving across the middle map. Four marines are being dropped off. There will be three stalkers to deal with them, no problem. Actually, a lot more stalkers. There is a lot more stalkers. And in the front, they're coming of marines and medivacs. He really needs to get a couple of very good force fields. And he does get it off, but maybe not the greatest spots. Two force fields. Very, very nice positioning. He might be able to snipe off. He only took down two probes that time and he might be able to snipe off this very very weak Colossus he does manage to take it down and where are the stalkers the stalkers are still inside the back of the base trying to deal with a couple of marines but the majority of the forces for Juby is in the front he wants to take down this Nexus because he does not have his own base and he's going to take down the medevac one medevac goes down and the marauders actually killing the stalkers very very quickly he's warping it marauders and zealots in the back as well as a sentry he's not zealots and he's gonna try to hold here. These units are very weak. He probably wants time to recuperate and heal as the medevac is completely out of energy. And this medevac was stationed in the back of the base of Huck the entire time, but not doing too much. One star coming to the edge, trying to maybe snipe off that medevac as he's leaving. That was a lot of tense action those couple of seconds. Druby running very, very low on these minerals. He has about... I would say close to a thousand four hundred ish worth of minerals left, whereas Huck has a lot more. If you take a look at the income tab, there's double the amount of gas, double the amount of minerals for Huck. A huge advantage, but he doesn't have a large army that Ruby has. If we see a huge attack, he's gonna have to pull some probes off the line. Very, very nice force fields. The Zelods will be able to take care of these SCVs that are coming in. The sentries are going down very, very quick. Medivacs are coming in. There's three Medivacs. And he really needs additional units, maybe Zealots or Stalkers. Stalkers are being warped in. If he can force field them, it, ooh, he can actually force the field up. And Stalkers might be able to hold here. It's actually really close. More additional SCVs are coming. There's almost no SCVs mining inside his base. And Huck does call GG. Miraculous win by Druby. Down in minerals, down in pretty much everything. But he pulls the all-in SCV push. Hope you guys enjoyed that. There will be games 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Hope to see you guys then. This is G Your Face. See you guys next game. Woo!